You are listening to Standards in Ten Minutes from the Standard Show, the podcast that brings you the stories behind the standards with Matthew Childs and Cindy Parakil. Hello, my name is Matthew Childs, and this Standard in Ten Minutes is ISO nine thousand and one Quality Management Systems. Here are ten things you need to know. Number one. The standard ISO 9001 quality management systems can lay claim to be the world's most popular or even the world's favourite standard. It's certainly the most widely used. In fact, it's used by over one million organisations around the world, helping them to run more efficiently and effectively. A quality management system documents the processes, procedures and responsibilities for an organisation to achieve its objectives. And ISO 9001 specifies the requirements for a quality management system. It specifies what an organisation needs to do to provide products and services that consistently meet customers' needs. It specifies what an organisation needs to do to enhance customer satisfaction through a process of continuous improvement. And it specifies what an organisation needs to do to make sure it conforms with all relevant regulatory requirements. Number two. ISO 9001 was based originally on the British standard BS 5750, which was the first specific quality management system standard designed to be applicable for organisations in all industries and of all sizes. It was first published in 1979. Building on the success of BS 5750, ISO 9001 was developed to extend the reach of quality management to an international audience. It was first published in 1987. However, the history of the standard can trace its origins back even further, to the 1950s in fact, when governments in the UK and the United States established standards for large-scale military procurement exercises. These initial military specifications were in reality the forerunners of the modern quality assurance standards. Number three. The requirements of ISO 9001 are generic and are intended to be applicable to any organisation, regardless of its type or size or industry, or even the products and services it provides. So it's a standard that's not just for manufacturers. It's just as applicable for service providers, such as hospitals, banks or universities, In fact, any organisation that wants to improve the way it does things to meet its objectives. For this reason, the standard does not specify what the objectives relating to quality or meeting customer needs should be. Instead, it requires organisations to define these objectives themselves and continually improve their processes in order to reach them. Number four. ISO 9001 is based on seven quality management principles. These are customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, a process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision-making, and relationship management. So, for example, leadership. Well, leaders need to establish a unity of purpose and direction of the organisation and create an environment that allows everyone in the organisation the chance to be involved in achieving what the organisation wants to do. A process approach? Well, this is the principle that a desired result is achieved much more effectively and efficiently when activities and resources are managed as a process. And improvement? In this regard, the principle for ISO 9001 here is that the improvement of the organisation's overall performance should be a permanent objective. Number five. ISO 9001 is what's known as an ISO management system standard. Other well-known ISO management system standards include 14001 for environmental management, 27001 for information security, 50001 for energy management, and ISO 22000 for food safety management. But in fact, there are more than 80 ISO management system standards. Number six. One of the key ideas behind management system standards is that they can all work together. 
This is thanks to what's known as the harmonised structure, which means that as documents, management system standards are structured in the same way. This feature is particularly useful for organisations that choose to operate a single or integrated management system, one that can meet the requirements of two or more management system standards at the same time. All of the ISO management system standards are designed to be applicable across different countries, industries, types and sizes of organisations, as well as in different cultural and social conditions too. Number seven. The operating principle of ISO 9001 is the plan, do, check, act cycle. And that the performance of any organisation can be improved by applying this cycle either for individual activities or the system overall. So the plan is what the organisation is going to do and how it's going to do it. The do is the implementation and control of what was planned. The check is to monitor and measure progress and report the results of what was done. The act is to take any actions to improve the results. And so back once again to plan and to create a cycle of continuous improvement. Number eight. Organisations can also choose to be certified against the standard ISO 9001. Certification means the provision by an external and independent body of written assurance, a certificate, that the system in question meets the requirements of the standard. Organisations may choose to undergo certification to demonstrate to its customers, clients and stakeholders their commitment to quality products and services and that they are a trusted supplier. In order to maintain certification against ISO 9001, organisations must undergo a review every three years. Number 9. ISO 9001 is developed and maintained through ISO Technical Committee 176 or TC 176. Technical committees are established by ISO to develop international standards within their approved scopes. The very first technical committee, TC1, deals with screw threads and was created way back in 1947. A particular favourite of mine is TC87, created in 1957 for standardisation of both the raw material and products manufactured and prepared from cork. Yep, cork. While more recently, TC323 was created to standardise the circular economy. With a current membership of around 100 countries, TC176 has been leading the development of standards in the field of quality management systems since 1979. Number 10. Like all ISO standards, ISO 9001 undergoes a review at least once every five years to decide whether it's still valid or needs updating. This is important to ensure that the standard is still globally relevant and meets the needs of its users. In 2021, TC176 undertook a number of activities to review the standard, including a survey of ISO 9001 users. The result was that no revision was needed and the latest version of ISO 9001, published in 2015, remains current. A special task force within the technical committee will continue to evaluate and monitor any possible market or other changes that could impact the standard and propose a revision if and when required. So, there you have it. A standard in 10 minutes. ISO 9001 Quality Management Systems. You have been listening to Standards in 10 Minutes from The Standard Show. Subscribe to us now wherever you get your podcasts. heard a stripped media production.